folks welcome to another part of scenario based software testing interview question before we begin if you have not watched part 1 please do watch part 1 also so let's get started what are the key challenges of software testing that you faced in your career so this is quite common commonly asked question actually so what are the challenges that you have faced till now okay so that they would be interested to know unstable application under test which is nothing but suppose there are some times where we face the stability of the application because sometimes the uh, server goes down such scenarios can happen so because of that it leads to the instability of the application it behaves weirdly sometimes so that is because only in a uh, testing environment that occurs most commonly okay so that is one of the challenge time constraint uh, while testing you may face this is one of the common challenge right so you can mention about the time constraint if you have faced any specific time constraint you can give the example of it also understanding and analyzing the requirement so sometimes it is a challenging in case if there is a story which is quite complex right at that time understanding of the story is difficult and analyzing that requirements and even though if we cover those test cases sometimes there are chances of missing some of the test or corner cases also changing requirements so it happens that we can uh, in agile that is one major uh, concern right so there are chances of changing requirement so if you have faced any such issue you can mention about it lack of domain knowledge and business user perspective understanding so if you have faced anything uh, in such a way you can give an example and then demonstrate i mean you can tell that this is what i have faced because as i was a new to this project uh, and new to this domain i was not able to catch up with the requirements and i able to understand the topics so that's where i faced the challenge prioritizing the test cases so uh, prioritizing the test cases could also be some of the challenges if you have anything definitely yes lack of skilled team members so this is one of the challenge selecting test cases for regression testing okay so optimize you have to optimize after you do thorough testing sometimes you have to optimize uh, the tests for regression suit so that is one of the challenge that you can mention lack of resource and training okay if you have not given proper kts right uh, knowledge transfer sessions so then you will struggle in that stage so you can mention about it okay test environment issue so i was mentioning in the first right unstable application uh, right so test environment issues happens occurs sometimes mostly we have faced such issues related to test environment while testing it goes down okay maybe because of some issues uh, might might not be specific to one reason there are multiple reasons right so if you remember or recall any you can tell about it how many test cases you can execute in a day right so this is one thing that they will try to understand your execution or uh, your speed how do, how can you make out per day it depends on the complexity of the story right so it completely depends sometimes a very easy story also we will take some time but sometimes very complex story we will take a little lesser time so that happens it is not like a fixed time we can say right it completely depends on the complexity if it is a regression test case you can just specify how much you can execute it based on your previous ex experience you can uh, tell that there is many test cases that i can execute per day when it comes to regression okay in case of new story okay 
it would be around 10 to 15 test cases I can execute. So it completely depends on the complexity. And in here, you can mention about if you have a, why, why will you be able to execute 10 to 15? Sometimes it would be more also, more test cases also you will be able to execute. Sometimes it would be like, uh, even like four to five also. Why? Because it depends. If there is any issue, you will start debugging that issue and understanding that issue if it is causing any other issue. So there are like the steps that you, uh, other thing that you will follow. So in case of new story, you cannot uh, directly tell that this is how much I can be, be able to execute. Exact number we cannot give. Approximately you can tell. Uh, th this was a story that I have tested which I took only this much of time. This was a new feature. We were committed to uh, deliver this in uh, uh, you know, one sprint. So we uh, executed almost eight to 10 new test cases for that. Uh, so that is how you can tell based on the uh, work that you have already done. So most of the time, these type of questions will be asked for experienced candidates only. How many defects you have found till now in your last project? So this is important question, I would say, okay? So be careful while giving the number. They will expect you to tell a proper number so that uh, it, it is a good practice, actually. Whenever you say, I found so many, so many doesn't mean that it, it wouldn't sound good, okay? If you give a proper good number, it would sound really good on, and better. I have been working in this project since an year and have worked on regression testing as well as new future, uh, features and I'm proactive in identifying the issues. Okay. I have found critical major and minor issues in my project. Okay. As per, as per I remember, I have found more than 40 plus defects in a new feature and around 18 plus regression defects, which includes critical, major, and blocker issues as well. So you just specify approximate number. You don't have to specify exact number, okay, which is uh, acceptable, right? Uh, when it comes to the project in one year, based on how much work you have done, you can uh, just make a note of how much you were able to find till now in your current project and how, how much days you have worked, all that matters. You Based on that, you just give some rough figure. Have you ever involved in production deployment? After deployment, what are the things you check to make sure it is working fine? So the application is working fine. How can you make sure that? So if you are involved in that, you can say yes. Otherwise, you can say no. In case if you say yes, what things you can say is, once the deployment is done, smoke tests will run as it is integrated in the pipeline. Okay. As soon as the deployment completes, it will trigger the smoke test. If it is included in the CI/CD pipeline. If it is so, you can mention about it. Also, we will manually check some functionalities as well as the latest changes availability in the prod environment. Uh, so manually also you will check, suppose in the current release, you are uh, deploying changes related to some features. Okay. After deployment, you can go and check whether that new feature is available now in the prod or not okay to the real time users whether it is available or not that thing you can check and in case of failures what will be your next step you can mention about it if there are any issues we will report it in the meeting and the developers will take a look for the error logs if the issue is known then we will not be considering those Sometimes what happens while during the production deployment itself, we will check the uh, new features, new features as well as we will run the smoke tests and we will manually also check some of the things. Okay. 
in that case if something goes wrong during the deployment itself you can report it immediately you can either uh, in the call itself you can bring it up okay and sp speak about what issue or challenges that you are facing so that the developer immediately can check the error logs okay so that is one possible way or if any smoke test gets failed immediately you can check why it is failing manually also you can give a try and then finally you can tell that this is not working or this is working based on okay when sometimes what happens if the issue is known then will not be considered right some of the issues will be known issues in the logs sometimes you will be able to see some of the errors which are common commonly you are seeing it so but that is not affecting any functionality if something which is known issue then you can ignore such type of issues okay in case if there is any major issue we will have to revert back the changes during the deployment itself if you find that there is some major issue you have found the you uh, you know the application itself is not loading so that is one of the a big issue or the blocker issue right you are not able to able to log into the application itself in that case so at that time it is a hard time so you have to revert back the changes whatever you have uh, sent to the production okay deployed to the production so this type of answer uh, which is in experience based on your experience you can talk about it even more also if you do not have documentation available to test what would what would be your approach to test the application so this is also one important question so all the questions today we went through are mostly important questions only right so this is also one of the important question to answer this whenever we do not have proper or enough documentation to test firstly i would prefer to perform exploratory testing so this is the keyword that they will expect if there is no documentation or less documentation what would be your first approach first you have to talk about exploratory testing okay during this testing i will get some uh, understanding of the application so the first approach what you have to follow is also to do an exploratory testing and understand the application okay it is a difficult task though we have to understand the application correctly before testing it okay my another approach would be checking with team members or seniors of the project which are who are in the project you can go and check with them i will check with other team members so that uh, it would help me to get good understanding or more understanding first is you have to do an exploratory testing if you could not understand it then you can get in touch with any of the senior uh, testers okay of the same project if if you have any of them you can get in touch right and then you can get some more information about the application or if you have any questions or not you can get the clarification there in case of any questions or doubt i will connect with onshore team and get the clarifications okay if there are any doubts or question i'll connect with onshore the further members you can connect with too if if your team members or stakeholders mostly they will be located in the onshore in that case you can say that wherever you are product owner or business analyst so you will get in touch with them and get the better understanding of the application so if, if there is no documentation so these are the other approaches that you can follow so these are the things that you can tell whenever this type of question is asked hope this video brought you some uh, information about the real time interview questions if you have liked it please do like it share it don't forget to subscribe to my channel keep supporting thank you bye bye